Arthur Gatter, the hammer killer of Frankfurt, was a German serial killer who murdered six homeless people and two homosexuals by wielding a hammer. The murders occurred in the city parks in the outskirts of Frankfurt from February to May in 1990. On February 2nd, a security guard came across the murdered corpse of a 43-year-old homeless man, Hans-Peter Peter Chen, another victim. 22-year-old Kurt Helmut was found with fatal head injuries on February 7th. He was not a homeless person. Therefore initially no connection to the first victim was established. On April 2nd, at the bus stop at Reichnick Robinstrasse, a tramp named Helmut R. was found dead with severe head injuries which led to his violent death. May 4th, 46-year-old Hans-Peter M.'s bloody corpse was found. On May 5th, 60-year-old Engelbert G. and 42-year-old Nicola Z. died about 50 meters apart. On May 22nd, 1990, Arthur Gatter was arrested in connection to the Hammer murders, as the alleged murder weapon, a metal war hammer, was secured, which he carried hidden in a plastic bag in his armpit. Through this instrument, the typical impression fractures or perforated structures in the skull came about, as determined in forensic medicine, he searched out victims on park benches and surprised them in their sleep. He watched them for a while, until he was sure he could do his job safely. He wore low noise rubber gloves and he hit his victims with such force that the blood splashed over a meter wide. Arthur Gatter was a professional electrician by profession who lived in Australia for a while. After returning to Germany, he worked on assembly and traveled to countries in the Orient. Since the 1980s, he was no longer able to work and trashed his apartment in Wilhelm Leischnerstrasse. It is believed that his schizophrenia was already greatly advanced at this time. Even in his next residence he behaved suspiciously. Arthur Gatter grew up as a loner and already suffered in the early stages of anxiety and mental health problems, which expanded into a paranoid schizophrenia. By the late 1990s, a bizarre world of madness took over his thinking and acting. He told the police that a dark force had taken his victims to the park to be killed by him. Since 1987, he is said to have heard voices that dominated his life from then on. During the crime scene, Arthur Gatter made gurgling noises and mannerisms that are typical of certain mental illnesses. He was said to have felt no remorse for his crimes or his victims. A psychologist suggested an insanity plea would be appropriate for Arthur. However, before he could be taken to court, on December 12, 1990, the hammer killer, Arthur Gatter, hanged himself with a gauze bandage.